Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Turismo 4, part 94. I think. I hope I'm counting them right. So this next one's gonna suck pretty bad. We're going to Ice Arena, and I'm gonna get in my Ford RS200 for this. So, uh, I need to go to Ford, get snow tires, spend $23,000 on a set of tires. Or, well, credits. Bazinga. I hope that's all I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna have to come back and upgrade. I'm just gonna buy this ahead of time so I don't have to later. And, uh, yeah, let's get absolutely dominated. So, Whistler Ice. It's a lot shorter track, at least, but still, it's gonna suck. Oh my god. Of course. Of course we get an actual rally car to show up. I swear an EVO 3 can show up in this thing. There it is, an EVO 2! So we can get a Celica rally car or an EVO 2. Bruh moment. Is that GTR Rufus? Or GT Rufus? Bruh. What's up, dude? Pretty sure everybody knows who that is. The license test boy. I didn't get a look at the A spec points. I wasn't paying attention to it. At least the wheel won't be as loud on this track because it's smoother. Oh boy. This is driving a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I thought I was going to be spinning out because of the short wheelbase. Okay. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I just like to keep off the walls if I can. We got the RS200 for the birthday gift on GT Sport. I didn't even know they had this car in this game. I haven't touched Sport in a very long time. Except for, like, I got on, like, two months ago, maybe. But I didn't play that long. Okay. That was rough. Get around. Oh, GT6. I didn't finish reading that. I unfortunately never played 6. I tried to play 6, but I have the uh, that lockout error from doing all the updates at once, and I never bothered to try it again. This drive's actually pretty freaking good on the snow, I can't lie. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, well, except for that part. Oh, fix yourself. I don't even have a PS4, yikes. I have one, but I've barely touched it. And, well, per I barely touched it ever since I got more into PC gaming in general. That was a weird audio glitch I just heard, but yeah. Okay, well, that's quite a relief. I thought this was gonna be a disaster, but apparently not. I guess because I just chose an easy opponent. 
So another 10,000 credits. Onto the reverse layout. Here we go, three laps at uh, the thing, yeah. Oh, he's gonna pinch me into the wall. You frick. Uh, we'll get it eventually. That was just pure karma right there. That's how you do it. Okay, well, he's doing it back to me. And I'm doing it back to him. Bonk. Take that. Try to maintain the lead this time. Yeah, the AI should have gotten a penalty. But freaking Kaz wants to make us suffer. Damn it, Kaz moment. Really surprised by the RS200 here. As long as you don't go full throttle on these hairpins, you're good. Okay, well, that wasn't that great. Alright, finally, that took enough. Just because I can. Style points. I really wish I could get higher A spec points on this, but it, it's just... There's no way around it. You have to just, like, ram the AI to do that. So 10,000 credits once again, and time to get our prize car. The prize for Whistler Ice is gonna be... Evo 4 Rally Car. Nice. This is one of the slower ones, but I like Evo 4s, so... Yee. Go take a look. Come on, navigate, please. So, this one only has 285 horsepower, which is a little bit less than the rest of them. But it's still cool. And with that, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 4.